You guys ready? One, two, just kidding. <laughs> That's not what this is about. Uh, what this is about is that I just temporarily installed the steering column so I can hook all the wires up so I can test the engine. So um, I did just wrestle the steering column in, just checking it out, testing the waters a little bit. I uh, got the rag joint hooked up, okay, just loosely. And no, I'm not gonna try to start the car right now. It's the end of the day, but I did get the string column in. I gotta put a, throw a good battery in, but I do have all the new wires in and everything's hooked up correctly, I hope. And so rather than do, fiddle around with a remote start switch and I just put the string column in, I wanna make sure it works. Um, something I just noticed I thought it was kind of interesting is if um, when I turn when you turn the key right when you go like that what actually happens is you're you're just pushing this all the way down there so so I get and I'm just learning this so that that's where the switch is the actual switch uh, and this is just the key anyway kind of exciting sorry for sorry i tricked you guys but we'll get these guys uh in use pretty soon i'm hoping by the summer anyway that's my goal ah progress by the way so this is just a standard car right it's a base car but i want to show you guys that people are out of their minds so i look i was looking at steering columns steering you know c3 steering columns and I was coming across videos, and but then also people for have that has steering columns for sale. People have lost their minds with the tilt and telescopic original steering columns. Maybe it's worth it, but here I saw one on eBay, and it started at like it lowered the price from like five thousand dollars. Am I out of my mind, or is that reasonable? It's rebuilt, but still, check it out. Okay, so that's all I got in this video. Just a little video to say hello. And we're making progress. Check back later.